what is up YouTube so I'm just out here for a little ride gonna do my 2,000 mile review and I'm actually at 2,054 miles I did a lot of door dashing yesterday and I went over 2,000 miles but uh, yeah I'm just gonna talk about a couple things that I can talk about while I'm riding and then uh, later I'll uh, pull over and I'll go over a few things that I need to show but let's talk about the first thing um, I've noticed lately that whenever this uh, is sitting for a while like overnight in the shed and then the next day you know I bring it out start it up get on the road and about two or three blocks from my house is the first stop sign and when I stop at the stop sign it'll kind of struggle and then stall and then I'll start it back up and it's like three or four blocks to the next stop sign and by the time I get to that next stop sign everything seems to be you know warmed up and ready to go it won't stall again the rest of the day and I'm wondering if it just maybe the fuel filter because I have not cleaned it since I got this thing and uh, it's way overdue uh, I haven't really done anything other than uh, the engine oil and the gear oil and I do the engine oil every 500 miles because it says every 1,000 kilometers, which is 621. So I just rounded down and decided to do it at 500 miles because it's easier to keep track of. And then the gear oil, I do it every 1,000 miles. And I'm probably just going to start doing both every 1,000 miles. I did, the, I did them both this morning the engine oil and the gear oil this morning for my 2,000 mile maintenance and I was going to do the, the fuel filter too but then I remembered that I filled the gas tank up last night so that whole part inside there is, is soaking wet right now I'm going to have to wait until it's almost empty and then I can get in there and pull it out you know, without making too much of a mess but yeah I'm, I'm wondering if it's just that fuel filter needs to be cleaned and then it won't stall anymore I need to check the air uh, the air filter too because I haven't cleaned it since I got it you know like I said I've just been doing the oils so uh, I need to start looking at the other stuff and uh, you know and take care of those so yeah, that's the first thing, you know, the, the stalling shortly after takeoff. And like I said, after, you know, a few blocks, uh, you know, it's fine the rest of the day. So another thing I did this morning was I took out one of my front brake pads because I needed to look at it, see what it looked like. I need to order more. I used both the uh, front and rear brakes whenever I stop but I favor the rear brake pads more than the front so the the rear brake pads are a little bit more worn down the, than the front they're still good but I just gotta squeeze the lever a little bit more I need to start using my front brake pads a little bit more so that they uh, wear down evenly so yeah I'm gonna order uh, some more brake pads which I probably won't have to change any of them you know for a while let's see uh, where they are at 3,000 miles but they're supposed to last 
We're like anywhere from three to five thousand miles, I think. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm heading out to uh, Thousand Hills State Park. And I don't know why I'm going slow because, well, now I have to because road work up ahead. But yeah, it's 45 on this road. Now it's going 35. Hurry up and get up here and out of this truck way. Because that would not be fun. So yeah, anyway, I'm heading out to uh, Thousand Hill State Park. And then I'll pull over and go over a few more things. I'll go ahead and take the highway here. Because it's really not that much farther. That truck up there is going slow anyway, so... Yeah, just around this curve and then I'll be off the highway again. Pretty nice day out. The high is supposed to be 77. So, the wind right now on the ride is a little bit chilly, but not too bad. It's a nice, full, cool, sunny day, so... If there was cloud cover, it'd be a lot more colder. This is my turn right up here. On our way up to the park. All right, we made it. Find a place out here to uh, pull over. I always like this area right here when it's all shaded like this. Pretty nice. That's where I parked the last time for my 1,000 mile review. I'm going to see if there's another spot up here. It's a little chilly now in this shade. I haven't seen anybody out here yet. But it's a uh, Thursday morning, 11 a.m. So people will probably come out here later on today. Uh, let's see if there's anybody back here. I don't see any cars. Well, this would be a good spot. I'm going to park in the sun. And warm up. Alright, let me go over a couple things. So... One thing, not an issue, but it's annoying. But this panel right here keeps popping out. And I don't know why. I think it's because uh, I put my my foot up here sometimes. And it maybe it's pressing on it. I don't know, because it, it's all connected. You know, this and this, it's all connected. I put my foot on it. And then sometimes when I'm hitting the brakes, you know, that that's what I use to stop. And... Uh, I keep popping that thing back in like that and eventually it pops out again yep just like that so uh, I'm wondering if it's because I put my foot up here when I 
hit the brakes, you know, and I use this to stop myself from sliding forward on the seat. That probably, but the other side doesn't do that, so I'm not sure. I wonder if maybe the heat did it, because it has sat out in the sun sometimes. So, I don't know. I pop that back in, and it'll just pop back out. So, not an issue, it's just annoying. Uh, another thing I just uh, realized today, I was doing my oil change, and the dipstick is back in here. Uh, the easiest way to get to it is to take this panel off, or this air vent off. I just leave it on and just get under there and, you know, and work it loose and change the oil and that way I don't have to take this off all the time. But while I was doing that, I noticed this. This uh, muffler guard here was all loose. So I'm thinking, oh, you know, must, uh, must have loosened up. I'll just tighten it back. So I tighten that one there. I tighten that one in the back. And I look down here. Well, both of these came out. There's supposed to be uh, two bolts right in there. And they just came out. I don't know when. Uh, but eventually at some point, they came out. And now it's just hanging on by that one and that one over there. So I may end up just taking it off. Because uh, the only thing it really does is just keep you from... Uh, touching the muffler when it's hot. I still haven't used the speaker yet. Uh, like I said before, I uh, disconnected the speaker because every time you turn the key on, it says Bluetooth mode really loud. And that was annoying. So I've never actually used it yet. I haven't played any music through it. So uh, I don't know how it is because I just haven't used it yet. Also, like I said before, I mostly just door dash on this. Uh, my bag usually just stays strapped on here. So I haven't used the trunk or the side boxes. Um, whenever I eventually, finally go on a road trip, uh, I will use it. But I just haven't had the chance to go on my road trip yet. All right, back on the road. There's uh, some boats out on the water today. But anyway, uh, other than that minor stalling issue and the two bolts falling off in the muffler guard, I haven't had any issues with this at all. You know, like I said, I door dash with it. So it's all over town. You know, I'm riding all over the place and it's working you know just like what I got it for you know it's a work scooter so I can't say that uh, there's been anything that makes me regret buying it you know I guess that's what I'm saying you know I still like it I still enjoy it I just need to get on a uh, some road trips uh, because I really want to do a road trip I just haven't found the time to yet but someday soon before it gets too cold I definitely want to go on a road trip before winter hits because once winter comes and it's just cold, I'm not going to be riding. Well, I'm not sure what else to say. I think I've pretty much gone over everything I wanted to. So, I'm just going to enjoy the ride back into town. And keep the camera going. And then I'll end the video. I'll take the highway again, but I don't know if I'll
take it all the way back into town. Depends on if anybody gets behind me. But I didn't see anybody way back there. I got a strong headwind. Going 51. Still don't see anybody behind me. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get off the highway. That wind is brutal. Still gonna have a headwind on this road, but a lot less traffic. like a headwind and a crosswind at the same time it's trying to blow me over into the other lane that's why I wanted to get off that highway because long line of cars come in and I got the wind trying to push me into them one thing going at this speed with the full face helmet is a lot more enjoyable because when I do it as I wear a half helmet and I don't go 45 that often but when I do that wind just beats you in the face so uh, now that I'm wearing my full face helmet you know, I'm really wanting to go on a road trip soon. Keep that wind from beating on your face. You know, you can uh, enjoy the ride a lot more than you would if you were wearing a half helmet. But anyway, I'm back into town now gonna head on back home so I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you again next time